So we moved on. We, we, we switched off that subject, and then they started talking about um, uh, Warren's wealth tax, right? And <laughs> I was very tickled by this when, uh, <laughs> when they started talking about it. Because uh, Warren goes, yeah, the first fifty billion is free and clear, and then you get taxed at two cents, two cent wealth back tax is what she calls it, right? What the fuck are you talking about? The first fifty billion dollars that you make is just free and clear. Don't even worry about it. Take that first fifty billion, you know, get yourself a nice yacht. Maybe a couple of fucking interns to jack you off under the table. You know what? Whatever you got to do with that 50B, you know, you earned you earned that money through all the fucking loopholes that we gave you. You know, you really fucking earned it. But once you cross that, when you make 50 billion and one dollar, oh, we're going to tax you at two cents for the wealth tax. What is, I don't even know what that means, right? Like, it's so hard to decipher what that means. Is it two cents on the dollar is what you're going to tax them? So it's 2%. You're roughly going to tax them at 2% after they make their first $50 billion. That's your plan? That's fucking crazy. That's nothing. And they'll probably find a loophole to make sure that they don't have to pay that anyway. How about we tax them 20%? You know what 25% of $50 billion is? You know what 75% of $50 billion is? Still a fuckload of money. It's still so much fucking money. It's ridiculous what you said that. She she kind of just says it like, this is a great idea, right? First 50 billion, they're just gonna kick and they're just, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You know, first 50 billion is for you. You get to keep that, you know, fucking do weird rich people stuff with it, you know. Buy the original fucking King James Bible, whatever the fuck rich people do. All this means is like, they're gonna find a way to hide their money. They're just going to find a different way to hide anything past $50 billion. This is the second thing she said that's like, that's basically like, oh, you're, you're still, you're, you're still kind of lining up on the Republican side of things. Like, you're not actually a progressive. Cory Booker responded kind of. Um, and I gotta say, I was very surprised. This first statement that he makes doesn't mention that he's from New Jersey. That was a big. That was a big deal. Uh, doesn't mention he's from New Jersey. I was like, good for you, Corey. Are you, you know, distancing yourself from fucking New Jersey. <laughs> uh, but he said we need to increase revenue, right? We need to increase revenue in America, grow wealth. We need, uh, you know, a lot of people want to be entrepreneurs. And, uh, you know, I, I get it. I'm, I, people kind of think like entrepreneurship is, 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 the, um, is sort of the gateway to uh, being wealthy in America, right? Like once you become an entrepreneur, you automatically like, uh, you know, ascertain all of this crazy amounts of wealth. No, you're self-employed. I'm self-employed. And I'm broke as shit. I, I do more work now than I did when I worked uh, for any fucking uh, full-time or part-time job. I do way more work than I than I did. But being self-employed means that, uh, like, look, look, if I had the opportunity, if 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 I actually had wealth, uh, in in the sense that I think Cory Booker is talking about, I would be able to hire somebody to help me do X amount of things, right? I would be able to hire somebody to handle social media stuff, handle uh, uh, contacting groups or what have you handle video editing and audio editing and things of that sort and then pay them you know have have them be part of the Chris Mohan team Uh, but I don't I don't have that I am self-employed and I'm and and it's just me doing all of this stuff right and I and I would be considered an entrepreneur in this country 
And all entrepreneurs code for is uh, one person doing a bunch of different jobs and, and just skating by, like just getting by. Like I make enough money to pay bills, put gas in my car, uh, put food on my table, and, uh, and, and if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, have some money left over uh, for, you know, either saving it, because next month might not be as good as this month, um, or, uh, you know, splurging for presents and stuff like that. If I'm lucky, that's what that's that's what real entrepreneurship is, and and look, if Cory Booker wants to like increase fucking revenue, and uh, and and like better entrepreneurship in this country, what he should do is incentivize small businesses um, and community engagement. Right, that should be like an incentive. So if you open a small business, if if you open up a cool little tea shop or a coffee shop or a tattoo parlor or a pizza joint or a community center or a uh, DIY school or you know what what whatever it is and you're part of this community then you should be incentivized to do it but you're not because you're self-employed because you're a sole proprietor and not an LLC uh, or or, or a, a, you know uh, an S corp or whatever the fuck like you're taxed differently which means that whatever revenue you make uh, most of that revenue or at least half of that revenue is gone is gone in taxation and these LLCs, these large corporations, these big level corporations, they get to find loopholes. So it's not incentivized for you to be a small business owner. Because either you're going to be poor or if you actually start making like money where they count you as a thing, then most of your money just goes to the government. So why would you be incentivized to, to make more money? other than like the base limit that you need to like survive. It, 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 if you want more wealth in this country, then you should fucking act like it. You should fucking do something about it. You should incentivize people for doing that. All right. So uh, Warren, Warren sa- uh, basically said that she, you know, the, the 2% tax, that, the wealth tax that she has would basically fund a bunch of social programs and like cancel student debt, uh, all all within taxing uh, you know the 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 one percent of the one percent, um, these high uh, you know high wealth people, and uh, and take care of all a majority of the problems. And sure, I'm not I'm not against fucking taxing billionaires, but like what you're what you're saying is basically like there there's so many problems as far as how they can cheat the system again that it it, it, it becomes kind of a moot point but this is and this is kind of like Booker's big moment in the debate to be honest is he goes taxa- taxation millionaires and billionaires yeah that's cool but there should be a pathway to prosperity but he doesn't talk about how he doesn't talk about putting putting uh, more restrictions on on corporations right opening up more channels for uh, small businesses, incentivizing them, right? Having having maybe government level grants to to, to, to have community programs in place, to have community um, uh, businesses and organizations put into place. There's no there's no fucking incentive for that shit. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, This is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current socio-political environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, You can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. uh, Share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, And another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road.
Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content that was discussed and the, and the type of humor that you saw in this video, then you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy show. I've got live shows coming up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Bloomington, Illinois, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Columbia, South Carolina, New York City, Philadelphia. I'm going to be on tour uh, in, in a whole bunch of places uh, at the end of 2019 and into 2020. Go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com, for my entire tour schedule. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Check out my entire tour schedule, get your tickets there, and uh, we'll see you on the road. Thanks again.